Good morning, y'all. Today is Friday. I'm sure by the time y'all see this, it'll probably be like Monday or Thursday. As of right now, it is Friday. I'm on my second cup of coffee. I'm actually, I don't know if you can see that. I'm actually drinking black coffee because the way I've been having my coffee lately, I'm gonna save myself some calories and maybe even a carb or two by leaving out the creamer and just drinking it black. But I gotta have the sweetener. So I've been using the Jordan's Skinny Syrups for my coffee. So the the flavor that I have right now, I don't even know what the heck flavor I'm using right now. I don't even know, but anyway, it's sweet enough where I only need like one tablespoon. That I will measure out and put one tablespoon in uh, in my coffee. You know, to add creamer, you know, usually it's just visually it looks nicer and I, I do prefer that. I tried it out one time because I ran out of like the Nut Pods uh, coffee creamer because that's what I had been using. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can, can I drink black coffee with just the sweetener? Yeah, it tastes just fine. So I'm on my second cup now. I can already tell you it is 7.30, oh, it's about 7.51 a.m. And I can already tell you it is going to be a bang energy, energy drink kind of day. And I'll tell you why. This morning, TJ had got me up at like 4.30 a.m. <laughs> and I can laugh about this now, but I wasn't laughing earlier, let me tell you. So what happened was he's been having to go to the office for, he usually gets up about like around 3.30 in the morning or something like that, and he's gone by 5.00. And he'll wake me up so I can say goodbye. And by that time, you know, it's perfect because then I can have my own coffee, watch some YouTube videos before I have to get the kids up and ready for school and stuff. But this morning, I am dead asleep. I am sleeping so good. And I hear, bang, bang. And I jolt out of the bed, running to the door, running outside. Or at least that's what I'm, I think I'm doing anyway, that I'm just running out the freaking door. And... There's TJ, he's like walking to the kitchen and Angus had gotten into the trash. There's trash all over the floor. And he says, why didn't you put the trash can up? Now see, we don't have a garbage disposal in this house, so you gotta scrape your plates. And, which is all fine and good, but you know, I was putting the trash can into the laundry room. We don't have a laundry room door, so I would put the baby gate up. Well, <clears throat> the baby gate is now having to be used for Xanthia's room to keep Angus out of there because she doesn't officially have a door yet. And he had gotten into the trash one time or somebody fed him human food. Maybe I fed him human food. I don't even know. And he had diarrhea all over her carpeted floor. So thankfully I got that out. But uh, so we used the baby gate to keep him out of her room. So thankfully he's not a jumper. He won't jump like over things to get you know, like into a room he's not supposed to be in. So all I, was, all I was doing was just putting a step stool in front of the doorway to keep him out of the laundry room so he can't get to the trash can. I forgot to do it last night. So he, apparently there was just trash all over the floor. And he says, why didn't you do And I was like, I guess I forgot. And I grabbed the paper towels because I was gonna help, either I was gonna help him clean it up or I was just, I didn't know if he wanted me to clean it up. I didn't know what was happening because I'm like still like only half awake and now I'm frustrated because I just saw the clock, it's 4.38, and there's trash all over the floor, and I forgot, and so he says, go back to bed. I just put the damn towels down, I marched back in the room, and I slammed the door, and I'm thinking, why the hell did you call me out here then? <laughs> so now I'm laying in bed, now I'm wide awake, and I'm thinking to myself, why in the hell did he wake me up at 4.30 in the morning just to tell me to go back to bed? It didn't make any sense to me, and now I'm irritated, and I'm wide awake, and I didn't actually have to be up till five. And so five o'clock rolls around, he comes in and I'm, I'm already awake. And he says, well, I don't know why you're so mad. And I, t I told you why I'm mad. And I told him, I, why did you do? And he said, I didn't say babe. I said, bad dog. Angus and his couch are right next to the bedroom door. So I guess, <laughs> so he said, bad dog. And he said he was trying to be quiet, but you know me, I'm a light sleeper. I hear everything typically and <laughs> apparently he said bad dog and but to me in my sleeping state of mind I thought he said babe and he said no and now he's hysterically laughing because he's now he's starting to describe <laughs> my reaction coming, coming out of the room he says you storm out of the room <laughs> in this zombie state of mind <laughs> grab the paper towels he said I was mumbling something and it, it you know didn't make any sense to him and he just looked at me and just said go back to bed 
And then you go to, you slam the paper towels down and you storm back into the room. And I was, and so now we're both hysterically laughing. It's five in the morning and we're both laughing at the situation. And I'm like, no, I could have sworn you said babe. And he said, no, I said bad dog. So because I got up earlier than I wanted to, not this whole like, like, oh, this nice, you know, wake up, you know, just kind of lay there for a minute and just kind of collect your thoughts and then get up. I jolted out of bed. Hey, I'm on my second cup of coffee. I'm going to need an energy drink because there is no such thing as taking a nap in this house. I know I've tried and it never works. Even when the kids are very quiet and I know they're being quiet. It's, it's, it's not, it's not actually them. Naps do not exist in my world. It, that it just doesn't happen. I've tried, can't do it. I feel like I'm, I don't know if I, I don't think I'm missing out on anything. I don't know what it is. It's, it's not, it's not, I don't feel like I have to be doing something or taking a nap is wrong. I mean, if I'm damn tired, I'm falling asleep. There was a couple days ago, sitting on the couch editing a video and I'm falling asleep as I'm hitting the button. <laughs> those are the kind of days that I need a, an energy drink. And I don't drink those very often, but sometimes I'll tell you, I need them. Use my hair. I got my my sassy bun. My bangs don't, actually don't look that bad. I have no makeup on. Husband says I don't need any. That's really sweet. Have not uh, done anything with this this morning yet. But I thought while that incident this morning was still fresh in my mind, I kind of wanted to share it with you because yeah, it was it was kind of funny. Now knowing what actually happened, I'll tell you, I was so mad though. I thought that he was waking me up just to tell me to go back to bed. I was like, what the hell? Who does that? <laughs> Look at this cat. She found a new window to hide in. I guess she jumps up on there and gets up there. <laughs> I just look in the mirror and I said, oh, hey, there you are. What you doing, big girl? Let me see if I can. Hi, baby, what you doing? Oh, I will tell you what, it is so nice out here. It's cool. And it is windy out here today. It's kind of funny what you get yourself into when you decide I'm gonna go walk the dog today. So I took Angus outside so I can, you know, just walk him around, you know, cause he'll, he'll just kind of hang around the house or whatever. But I figured I would take him on a little trailer or something. And we come back and <laughs> I start hacking away at this tree. This tree right here, we had to cut it down cause it was in the way of our shed over here, our soon to be shed. So TJ had cut this down. He had, he had decided that we should uh, trim the branches off so we could drag it over to the house over there. So because we have no gutters at the moment, when the rain falls off the, uh, the roof, it'll hit the tree and not so much the foundation and ruin that. So that was our plan anyway. And we lost the machete. I could have used um, a chainsaw except for you know, that's TJ's thing. I don't do, I don't do chainsaws. I mean, I, I've already seen him with it. I'm just like, nah, that's not my thing. But you know what else? I used to say grilling wasn't my thing. You know, I actually like grilling. And then I used to say uh, changing tires wasn't my thing. That was TJ's thing. And then guess what happened? He showed me how to change a tire. So now guess what? He's going to see this video and he's going to say, you're going to learn how to use a chainsaw. <laughs> I'm not so sure if I want to, but I don't know. I have a funny feeling now. It's, that's going to that's gonna come soon now. So I ended up finding the uh, machete and um, walking the dog and I found it in the truck over there. And there is a tree. There is uh, one of these trees that had like low lying branches. Darn things kept hitting me in the face so I started whacking at them. All right, let's, let's go ahead. See, let's see how hard this is gonna be with trimming this tree because as you can see, these are some full branches. I got some here. And I got some right there. So I started whacking away at it. And uh, I'll tell you, I just got a one arm workout a couple days ago. So I was like, oh, you know what? I need to go check the mail. While I checked the mail, I might as well take the dog outside. I checked the mail and then I thought, all right, well, I'm just gonna take him on this little trail here. Part of the, you know, the trail that we go down, it's all this tall grass. And I just got sick and tired of this damn tall grass. And I'm getting the lawnmower. It's not a riding lawnmower, it's a pushing lawnmower. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a clear path because I am sick to death of walking through this damn tall grass. So I did. I went over on the other side of these trees over here. I just, uh, I mowed a long ways. It took me a good while to get it done, but I'll tell you what, this morning it was a lot nicer walking down that trail and not the tall grass and everything and worrying about walking into, you know, a green link spider. 
That is, no, no thanks. Orb weavers, that was the other spider. I could not remember what the heck that was. And TJ told me, I think it was, I think that's what it was, is an orb weaver. And I've seen little tiny ones and I don't care about them. But there was a big one. It's a big, it had like the fattest, and Xanthia thought it was a, um, he thought it was a black widow or something. And it was like right out the back sliding door. And she told me, she said, hey, there's a, there's a big spider out the side of this window. It sits on the outside of the house. And so I was like, oh, okay. And you know, her version of a big spider, my version of a big spider sometimes is a little, little different. So I didn't worry too much about it. But then I got talking to TJ about skirting for the house and everything. And so I kind of needed a visual. So he stepped out of the slider there and he was trying to show me you know what like 50 square foot would actually look like and i remembered her telling me there's a spider so i turn my head and i look and there it is ah and i went inside and i'm like tj get in the house get in the house and i shut the door i thought oh my god the body of this spider is actually way bigger than the green link spider that I had seen. I would have got it on damn camera. I need to start getting these. Come to find out these orb weavers, they like, you know, like, you know, spiders are good for the ecosystem. I almost said economy, the bugs and everything that we just don't want. It's all fine and good. Y'all stay out there and eat all the bugs and stuff. I don't want them in my house. And if they're that close to my house, like my back freaking door, I'm sorry. I don't care how nice you are. I don't want you at my door. So yeah, we, we had, TJ ended up killing that spider it's okay considering the size of the spider and where it was on the house i get that we got rid of the spider he says but you're if you're out walking on the property and you see one of these just leave it alone i said that's fine i will leave them alone they leave me alone i'll leave them alone i don't care you're gonna eat the bugs run away from me you know they're they're harmless to humans fine i will leave them alone but if there is any chance of it getting in my house like when it's right at the door no thank you and of course megan she looks at it and she's like i've seen bigger okay cool i don't know why i just went on that tangent oh yeah because i was just like i started by walking the dog and then i ended up mowing a big portion of our field and then this time I decided to walk the dog and I decided to hack out a tree. I wasn't setting out to do it. So anyway, whatever. <laughs> I got some sunshine. It is nice out here. Some fresh air. I gotta love that. And I gotta work out on my arm. That is what I've gotten done so far for breakfast. Uh, I just made like the same thing I did in the last video. I just did up some uh, scrambled eggs with some sausage and some cream cheese. I don't know why cream cheese just tastes really good with eggs. If y'all haven't tried it and I know I've seen I have done this in my videos before and I'll like do like some chopped spinach or something like that. So I just had that for breakfast. Uh, not sure about lunch but dinner is going to be I've got these kebabs. It's like sirloin already cut for kebabs and I found a crock pot recipe I'll link it down below um, basically how to do crock pot uh, kebabs and it's totally keto friendly um, you just like you know you could either eat it as is or you could serve it over you know cauliflower rice I made a dinner last night that involved collie rice. It was good, I mean, it was fine, but I'm just getting so sick of that stuff. I just can't take it anymore. If you're not doing keto or low carb, you can serve it with like mashed potatoes, pasta, rice, whatever. That is what I'm making for dinner. I'm just letting the meat thaw out right now, and then I'll get that all thrown into the crock pot, and then I can show you what that is gonna look like in a little while. But as of right now, I'm gonna go edit the last video y'all probably seen. All right, y'all, second meal of the day. I just have some leftover uh, chicken taco meat uh, with some lettuce. I do have one taco shell in there, but I do have some cilantro, some green onion, some cheese, and the rest of that um, guacamole salsa, and I just mixed around there. And Man, I'll tell you what, I cannot wait to dig into this. So I was in my closet putting some birthday presents away, and look, look who's up on the counter here. Good girl. I was in my, my closet over here and I heard this uh, clawing and I thought it was clawing at the door because I thought River was trying to get out because I had locked the door so that like Charlotte doesn't burst in because it's her birthday presents that I was hiding. And I'm hearing all this clawing and stuff and I'm like, where the heck is she? And she's on top of the dang cabinet. This cat, I swear. <laughs> what are you doing, crazy? Oh my goodness. Oh, she's so crazy. Oh, there's my cam camera strap. Oh, she's getting crazy. She's getting a little too wild, Missy. Oh, no, 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 no. She could attack me. She's a tech kitty. The attack kitty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's crazy. Crazy baby. Oh, oh, she's. Look at those feet. 
<laughs> she just took my arm down. You knucklehead. You knucklehead. Oh, she thinks she's so fierce. She's like this little, little fierce kitty. She's so crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're nuts. You're nuts. Silly baby. Oh, it's so silly. So silly. It's silly big girls. Oh, I'll go get you. I get you, get you, get you. I'm gonna get that butt. I'm gonna get that butt. Rah. <laughs> oh, that was my finger, you turd. <laughs> Ow. Okay, Missy. Missy. Good girl. Look at that bunny foot. What's with the bunny foot, hmm? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Get that foot. Where are you going? Okay, y'all, so I told you I was making crock pot beef kebabs, and it comes from cooks.com. And so these are the, these are the uh, ingredients we used. We had the beef sirloin that was already cut up. It wasn't in strips. It was like, you know, like the thick cubes like you would normally have with kebabs. The onions, the peppers. Um, I didn't have Italian style stewed tomatoes, so I just had regular diced tomatoes. Tomato paste, garlic powder, onion powder, Worcestershire sauce. And I basically just threw everything in the crock pot. So I did this for about six hours. We still have one more hour left. I'm gonna give it a good stir. And I did, because I got the big chunks of, of beef, I did big chunks of the peppers and onions because that is, you know, that's how you would, See, big chunks like this. I don't know if I should have cooked it the whole six hours. I probably should have waited on the uh, the peppers till a little later so they're not so mushy. But I did like the bigger chunks of the vegetables because that's what you do with um, when you're making kebabs. So, you know, in true kebab uh, form, I guess you want to call it. I decided to do that and um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. I will, uh, I'll show you what this looks like in about an hour. Oh. Yeah, this already needs salt, I can tell. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Already that tastes a lot better, and I don't even know how much I used. I just kinda like filled the uh, palm of my hand. Not filled the entire palm, but you know, you kinda like, you do this with the palm of your hand, you just kinda like dump the salt in there. It might have been like a tablespoon or something, maybe a little less, uh, and I added that into there along with some pepper, and I gave it a good stir, and you I, you know what, and I knew better, because when you're, whenever you're working with tomatoes, I remember watching this, I think it was Chef Ann Burrell, um, Maybe it was like, I can't remember what show it was on, but anyway, like when you're cooking with tomatoes to cut down the acidity, you always want to use salt. You have to use salt when you're cooking with tomatoes, no matter what you're doing. I knew better, because you know, garlic powder, onion powder, and Worcestershire, and I thought, where's the salt? I knew I was gonna have to add it. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. You can serve this over regular rice, pasta, potatoes, collie rice, whatever the heck you want. We'll probably just do some regular rice for the kids and then TJ and I will have it not on rice or maybe he might have a little bit, I don't know. But anyway, I will show you when I dish up. Now Charlotte and I ended up making cupcakes. Well, mainly this was Charlotte. She ended up making cupcakes today. Uh, I kind of just assisted her really. And um, <laughs> these are actually with the Halloween wrappers. We were supposed to do these for Halloween. It was supposed to be a purple, it was supposed to be purple cupcakes. And then we were gonna do orange icing and I didn't know what kind of decoration she wanted to have done, but it is well past Halloween. But I told her that we would make cupcakes anyway, just so we can at least use up the wrappers. I need to go to the store and go get some icing because I don't have any of that. Plus she also wants orange icing, but these ended up turning out red. I don't know if you could see that, so I don't think red orange icing is gonna really work too well with these. Mainly because we had plenty of red food coloring and not enough blue, so we couldn't make purple. We gotta get these ice. Here is my bowl, it's just the beef, peppers, and onions just like this. Oh, and then there, there is some of the uh, diced tomatoes, and then this is tea days, and I just put his over some rice, and that is for dinner tonight. <laughs> 